Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos involving ecology. This video will provide an overview as well as an example of the math behind the mark recapture technique for estimating the size of a population. The image on this slide, entitled Mark Recapture 101, shows most of what will be explained within this video. The mark recapture technique is used to estimate the size of a population of moving organisms that it would be unrealistic or impossible to count one by one. To summarize how this works, a survey or a sample of the population is captured. Next, the animals are marked in some way. In the past, I've used a permanent marker on the tail of a mouse or a tag on the leg of a bird, as shown in this picture. Then the organisms are released unharmed back into the population. Finally, after a day or more, the ecologist would go out and take a second survey of the population. Using a simple mathematic formula, the size of the entire population can be estimated. This technique can be repeated to produce more accurate results. Again, the idea behind the mark recapture technique is quite simple. If you mark a significant number of individuals in a population and release them, the fraction that you recapture in your second sample can be used to extrapolate the size of your entire population. If you caught 100 mice in a field and marked them all, and the next night you caught 112 more mice, but only two had a mark, it would suggest that you cut a very small fraction of the mice and that there are many, many more in the field. If you cut nine squirrels in a grove of trees and marked them all, and later caught seven, six of which were already marked, it would suggest that you caught most of the population in your first attempt and that the population size is quite small. At the top of this page, the formula to calculate n, your total estimated population size, is provided. There are three pieces of information that you need to estimate this. M, the number of individuals that you mark in your first capture sample, C, the number of individuals that you catch in your second sampling, and R, the number of individuals that you caught in your first sampling that you re-caught in your second sampling. An example data set that could be used to estimate the population size using the mark recapture technique is provided in the picture on this slide. If the top set of birds were captured and marked by coloring them orange, the eight birds would represent the letter M those that are caught in the first sample. If another time birds were recaptured and the bottom sample was collected, the 11 birds present would represent the letter C, those caught in the second catch. The three orange birds, those that were captured in both the first and second samples, would be R, the recaptures. If you take M, the first capture, which is 8, and multiply it by C, the number in the second sample, which is 11, and finally divide this number by 3, which is the number of recaptures, or R, you could estimate the size of this population to be around 29. If you wanted to more accurately estimate the population using the mark recapture technique, you could conduct many additional captures and marks beyond the first one and use a slightly more complex formula that's shown on the top of this slide, which is referred to as the repeat mark recapture technique. For the formula, N still represents the estimated population size, M represents the number of individuals that were marked in a sample, C represents the individuals that were captured, and R represents the number that were recaptured. The subscripts describe the round of capturing and recapturing being discussed in this particular scenario. I will use a picture with birds again to more clearly explain what the different variables in the repeat mark recapture technique are. The letter C is pretty easy to pick out. C2 is the number of individuals that would be captured and the second round of mark recapture. This is exhibited as the second circled set of birds, of which there are 10 in total. C3 is the number of individuals captured in the third round of mark recapture, shown by the third set of circled birds. In the third round of capturing and marking, there were 12 total birds. The letter R represents recaptures, and the subscript 2 refers to the second round of capturing. Using the mark recapture technique on birds, you'd probably place bands on their legs. The key thing is that there would be some observable difference, exhibited here as birds of different colors, that those had been marked already in some way. R3 refers to the number of recaptures in the third round, the four birds that are circled on this slide. The variables involving the letter M designate the total number of individuals that are marked at the beginning of that particular round. M2, therefore, would be the total number of individuals that were marked at the beginning of round 2. All of the individuals in round 1 were marked, so there should be a total of 8 individuals marked at the beginning of round 2. 
M3 is the trickiest number to calculate, but might be made a bit easier by this illustration. M3 would indicate the total number of individuals that are marked at the beginning of the third round. This would include all the individuals that were marked in the first round, and all of the new individuals that were marked in the second round. Note, this does not include the two marked, or yellow birds, in the second round. They were already counted as marked in the first round. If you take the eight birds that were marked in the first round, plus the eight new birds that were marked in the second round, your value for M3 should be 16. If you were to plug in all the numbers that we just discussed from this problem, you could estimate the size of this population of birds to be around 45. Now let's go through an example without visuals, as some practice. The simple mark recapture is quite easy to figure out, but the repeat mark recapture can be a bit challenging. This problem reads, if you were to mark a sample population of 23 and release them, and then you caught another sample of 32, four of which were marked, and finally caught a third sample of 28, eight of which were marked, what would you estimate the size of this population to be? In the example provided here, I've already taken the liberty to highlight C, the number of captures, which is merely the number of individuals that were caught in traps in a particular trial. Shown in red, 32 individuals were caught in the second round of capturing, C2, and 28 individuals were caught in the third sample of animals, C3. The number of recaptures, or R, is also easy to find. When you obtain your samples of organisms, these would be the number of individuals that have already been tagged or marked. 4 in the second round of captures, R2, and 8 in the third round of captures, R3. Again, the number of marked individuals, M, would include all of those that were marked or tagged in the population at the time that you conducted another round of sampling. Since 23 individuals were marked in the first round of capturing, 23 individuals in total in the population would be marked at the beginning of the second round, and they would represent the value M2. Since 32 individuals were captured in the second round, but 4 were already marked, 28 new marked individuals were added to the population. If you add this 28 to the 23 individuals that were marked in the first round of capturing and marking, there should be a total of 51 individuals in this population marked before the third round representing the value for M3. After plugging all of these values into a calculator using the equation that's provided above, you could estimate the population size of animals in this mark recapture technique to be approximately 180. That is the end of this video summarizing the mark recapture techniques for population size estimation. If you're interested in learning about any other levels of ecology or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.